spent about four years, three or four years, grinding a mirror and uh, making a telescope tube and, and making a telescope mount out of an old automobile axle and building a dome in my backyard and making what's called an eight-inch Newtonian telescope. And those are actually some of my fondest memories of astronomy, is actually being out there with my own telescope, looking at the moon or the ring nebula or Saturn or something, just being out under the stars. And I was hooked at that point. I suddenly realized this is what my life was about. It just hit me out of the blue. I had, I had been hearing about Steve for many years and uh, as a grad student, and he was like, he was like a god on Olympus, you know, he was... Uh, uh, just somebody you heard about, but you never saw. Steve brings another, a number of, I think, really important aspects to our department. Uh, perhaps the most important from the largest uh, perspective is that he's a superb designer of instruments. And I began to realize that, that the best way to make progress in a field is to be able to build an instrument that can do something that no one's ever been able to do, and then use that to do the research. And so his contributions go way beyond the individual research that he's doing because the tools that he's building to carry out his work are being used by the rest of the astronomical community to really find out what's out there. Yeah, so APF stands for Automated Planet Finder, and it's a telescope that will be used every single night of the year. So it allows us to pick a handful of our highest priority stars that we've sieved from 2,000 stars that we've done at other telescopes and hit them every single night for months on end. It'll start working on the star list and go through that all night long, close up at the end of the night, and then send the data on. We'll actually be able to find potentially habitable planets, Earth mass planets that, uh, that would be the right distance from their star for liquid water to exist. Steve uh, has been working very, very carefully uh, towards this goal of finding low mass planets for the last say 30 years and he's always been very focused, very hard working and always put this very meticulous care into everything he does and you see that in his teaching, you see that in his research. So it's, it's not only the, you know, the campus and the, and the environment but we have a really world-class uh, research facility here. Lick Observatory and the Department of Astronomy is generally rated to be in the top three or five of all places in the world. So I was very fortunate to be able to come here and work with this great group of people at, at Santa Cruz. And um, it's been an amazing time these last 30 years here. Totally amazing.